You would never think that waiting all day in a hospital for cancer treatment was a luxury. But Christine Watati and others at Kenyatta Hospital in Nairobi are among the lucky few just to get a place in line. Christine is battling cervical cancer, one of the most common forms of the disease afflicting women in Africa. Her doctors hope to cure her through radiotherapy. When detected early enough, many cancers can be treated and even cured. But in countries like Kenya, many people simply don't know what cancer is. Those who are there in the village don't know what is happening until it happens to you. There are very many people out there who don't know of cancer awareness because it is not taught until you notice something is wrong with you. When you go to the doctor, it is already too late. Kenyatta Hospital does its best to serve Kenyans living with cancer, but there are too many patients, too few doctors, and not enough radiotherapy machines. This is a country of 40 million people, but there's only one public cancer treatment center. It is a center which is under a lot of pressure from the number of patients. Uh, these two machines are obviously are not able to handle uh, the equipment. But apart from that, there's also the problem of manpower. You know, there's a, we are only four radiation oncologists to a population of 40 million people. Cancer steals a life every nine seconds in developing countries. The IAEA is working to create long-term strategies to increase access to radiotherapy, to train medical staff, and to raise awareness of the cancer crisis. Progress is being made, and one such example can be found in neighboring Tanzania. A model site for the IAEA, Ocean Road sees over 2,000 cases per year in a country that never had the ability to treat many forms of the disease. It is a leading example of how the IAEA and the WHO are helping African countries to fight cancer. Whether you live in the developing world or the developed world, receiving a cancer diagnosis can cause the same amount of pain, fear, and suffering. The main difference is that treatment options in the developing world are limited. But patients are starting to receive hope at facilities such as these, the Ocean Road Cancer Institute in Tanzania. Two-thirds of cancer deaths now occur in developing countries, so increasing access to radiotherapy is more important than ever. The IAEA is working to give hope to people like Christine and her fight against the disease.